welcome the president of Audi of America, Scott Keogh. Of these cars in our showrooms. 
It's not enough just to sell them. You want to make sure they have a very welcome, very acknowledged, and obviously very high-tech environment so we can sell these cars as we look at this thing. Now, the final piece of the puzzle, if you really sum it up, we feel very clearly the brand is ready, the market is ready, and the time is right, and that's why we're gonna aggressively launch all these cars right now. You can see behind you the RS3 sedan. This is a breathtakingly quick car, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. TT RS out there, zero to 60, 3.6 seconds. These are phenomenal race-ready machines. And what I'd like to do now is to show you one more phenomenal race-ready machine. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you right here the RS5 Coupe. I think it says it all. It's a beautiful car. It looks like it means business. Designed with all of the Quattro Audi Sport compression there, all new V6 bi turbo, 450 horsepower. We don't have the 0 to 60 yet, but I feel pretty confident. 3.5, 3.6 seconds with this car is exactly what it'll do. So this gives you a sampling. TT, RS3, RS5, all coming to this market, and a whole lot more to come. Now, what I'd like to do now is introduce to you, of course, I told you Audi Sport has a name. Of course, we tell you they make great cars, and great cars need great leaders. And with that, let me introduce the CEO of Audi Sport, GMBH, Mr. Stefan Bingham. Stefan, please. Thank you, Scott. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Audi Sport. For us, Audi Sport worldwide, it was a record year. We had 18% up against the year 2015. And guess what? Also, we managed to double our sales in the last five years. It was a very busy year uh, for our team, the year 2016, and we also changed the name of the company. Scott gave a glimpse of it, but we changed from Park Pro into Audi Sport. Why? Because motorsport is our DNA, it's and our roots, as we have seen before, in the 30s with the silver arrows the 70s with the, with the ready successes, but also the last two decades with the WEC, with the, with the DTM, with the RA GT3. So all cars which made history and are still making history. And uh, you know that we also have, uh, speaking about roots, a home. We have a hometown, it's in a little town in southern Germany, where we have our ultimate engineering and we have the finest and uh, you know when you work in a company like this you need to have passion, passion for those cars. So we have passion for performance, passion for prestige, passion for forward thinking, what the future is going to bring us. And uh, we have four pillars of success which are very important and which are making the company. The most important one is about our RS models and the R8. Audi Exclusive, which is the program which is giving the individualization to every car if the customer wants, leaving the Audi factories around the world. Then Collection, which is our merchandising program. And last but not least, our Customer Racing Department. And also here, last year, we had the best year ever. We won 24 championships around the world. We had 85 single wins and we have more than 100 additional podium places. So, why are we doing motorsport? For sure, because we want to win, and this is 99% of it. But it's also about the technological transfer we have from the race car to the street legal car. So, born on the track, built for the road, is not just a motor, it's something which we take very seriously. So today we have an approach which is worldwide, and we already have two winners. We have uh, the R8 LMS GT3 on the top end of our customer racing program, and we have a very good entry level with the RS3 LMS. And uh, today here in New York we have a world premiere. So take a look at this car.
MS GT4. We are doing it because it's closing the gap in a perfect way between the two cars in AP4, the RS3 LMX on one end side and, and the top, the RA GT3. It has 60% carry over parts of this 3 legal RA, so it's a perfect tool for entering the racing for gentlemen drivers. And what is important, that is getting more important worldwide as championships, and therefore we bet on it. And this is a R8, it has a D10 engine with 5.2 liter capacity. And ladies and gentlemen, now I would call on stage again the president of AOL, Scott Keogh, and uh, the technical director of Audi Sport, Stefan Rai, and also the technical and uh, the director for customer racing, Chris Rein. Thank you for your attention. I invite you to see our vehicles and enjoy your evening.